In this video, I'll guide you through the process of incorporating dependent sections and conditional logic in Google Forms. But before diving into the steps, let's discuss the various scenarios you might encounter while creating forms. Firstly, we have the basic forms. These contain a series of questions ending with a submit button. Secondly, you can organize forms into different sections. For instance, a profile form could be divided into sections like about me, contact, and experience-related questions. The third scenario adds an interesting twist, where you can create conditional forms. This involves inserting choice-based questions, and depending on the user's selection, they navigate to different sections. Now let's get practical. Open a blank form using the shortcut forms .new. For the sake of illustration, we'll create a simple t-shirt sign-up form with questions about name, size, and color options. Nothing too fancy for this straightforward form. Let's preview it to see how it looks. Moving on to the second scenario, imagine you also want separate forms for trousers and t-shirts. Begin by creating the main section of your form. This could include general information like name and any other common details. Now, in the floating menus on the right, you will see two rectangles stacked vertically. Click that to add a new section. Name this section, for example, T-shirt form. Within this section, add questions specific to trousers, such as size and color options. You can use the multiple choice or drop-down question types for size and color. Similarly, add another section and name it Trouser Form. Add similar questions for size and color. You can also reorder your sections by clicking on these three dots and then choosing Move. This will show you small pop-up box to reorder your sections. You can also merge all questions in a particular section with the above section. Also ensures that you have selected continue to next section after each section because we don't want to submit form until we have gone through all our forms. Now let's preview the form. Now for the third, more intriguing scenario. Let's say you need different sizing and color options for boys and girls. Begin with the main section, including fields like name and gender with options male and female. Insert two more sections, one for boys and name it like, t-shirt form for boys, containing questions about size and color options, another section for girls and name it like, t-shirt form for girls and include color and sizing options that are valid choices for girls. Here's the key part. You need to link these sections based on the answers provided in the main form. Click on the three dots on the gender question and choose Go to section based on answer, and then beside each option, specify the section name. Additionally, for each section just after the section ends, you will see few options to choose from, like whether you want to submit the form or continue to the next section or go to any particular section. In this case, we will choose Submit Form. Well, depending on the logic of your form, you could have selected something different also. Like what if after choosing color and size, you want to go to another section and then submit the form? Then in that case, you will have to choose continue to that section instead of submit. This way you can make complex form structure. Moving on to our form. Now we've set up a dynamic form that tailors its questions based on user input, providing a more personalized and efficient experience. Feel free to explore and experiment with these features to create forms that precisely meet your needs. If you have any queries, then please ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.